Hello friends, welcome to Sam and Sugar and today we are going to answer a few questions. Actually many of our subscribers have a question. Do we need to file return of income tax when we are making losses in stock market trading? So this question has been asked several times over the last uh, one year whether we need to file income tax return or do e-filing in case uh, if a trader is making losses uh, in stock market trading well first thing you need to check is whether you are within the turnover compliance if your turnover currently if i am going as per assessment year 1819 so if your turnover is more than 2 crores then you have to definitely get a tax audit done which means e-filing is compulsory in that case so make sure to check whether your turnover is below 2 crores or above 2 crores. This confusion mainly comes in case of intraday or margin money trading in equity shares because the turnover normally comes at a very higher amount since all the broking firms give uh, 10 to 12 times of your margin for trading. So if your turnover is less than 2 crores then tax audit is not compulsory and uh, then e-filing is optional but if your turnover is more than 2 crores then tax audit is compulsory which means e-filing is also compulsory you need to do both now question is uh, my turnover is less than 2 crores and I'm making losses do I need to do e-filing so the easy way to answer that question is uh, whether you are going to stop trading just because you made losses if you can answer that question to yourself that I'm going to stop trading and I won't trade anymore then I would recommend no need to do filing for trading in stock market but if you are saying that you are going to pursue and you believe in yourself and you want to recover it back or you will work hard and try to recover it back whatever XYZ reasons you have and you are going to continue to trade then I would recommend do e-filing and file your losses so that in the next year when you make profit you can use that as a deduction against this current year's profit I will give you a very good example there was a client who made losses for two years continuously first year around three and a half lakhs and second year around one and a half lakhs the total five years losses he had in margin money trading in the third year he made a profit of three and a half lakhs had he not done e-filing in last two years then he would have landed up paying income tax on this three and a half lakhs since he done he has done loss return for the last two years he managed to get set off for for this year so when he earned three and a half lakh he got a set off he was a salaried employee already in the 30 percent tax slab so for this uh, income it was like a deduction for him so cases like that shows you how important it is to do e-filing so i would recommend all the traders to do e-filing of income tax return even if it's a loss return because you never know when your stars may change and you may start making profit and that's what we all want we all want to earn profit so once you start making profit you will look at this losses to save on your taxes like normally salaried employees looks for ATC, ATG deduction and other deductions are there so similarly a stock market trader for a stock market trader this deduction comes in handy so I would advise all the traders to do e-filing
in my opinion from the discussion what we had we should do e-filing of loss losses incurred in day to day trading activities provided we are going to pursue our trading activities if you are going to discontinue the trading activity then you have the option not to claim in in, in that case i would say forget claiming now as per income tax law as per income tax law if you are trading in equity purely equity long term more than 1 years and you are making losses the losses can be carried forward for a period of 8 years similarly in short term the losses can be carried out for a period of 8 years okay short term is less than 1 year long term is more than 1 year if you are trading in margin money or intraday trading that in it falls under speculation speculation business income in that case your losses can be carried forward for 4 years you made a loss on the first second third fourth four years back to back losses fifth year also you made a loss this one you have to forget in case of speculation business income which is applicable for people trading on margin money so i hope you remember this so i would advise uh, because I, it's my personal opinion not to go for margin money trading or uh, equity trading might as well you stick to short term long term or fn if you're trading in fno it comes under business income but normal big non speculation business which can be carried forward for a period of 8 years so if you're trading in equity short term 8 years long term 8 years fno 8 years business income margin money trading or intraday trading speculation business 4 years so this are the things you need to remember uh, because this is the income tax benefit you are getting in a period of 8 years definitely in my personal opinion a trader will somewhere at some point of his life start making profits it is better that he does e filing of all his losses so when he starts making profits he can use it as a deduction against all the profits he makes and it's a win win for all i would recommend that all traders should do e filing of all their losses provided they are willing to trade in the future so that they can use this losses as a deduction in the future if they make profits definitely they will make profits you need to have patience just remember the carry forward once again i'll repeat for the last time so trading in equity long term 8 years short term 8 years fno business income 8 years intraday margin money trading speculation business 4 years four years i have already explained this five so on the fifth year if you are making losses for five years then from sixth year onwards the first one you will have to forget so that's it that's the only difference you have otherwise the rest all is eight years i hope this video was useful to you and don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel because we'll be coming up with more of such income tax update for all the traders uh, and uh, especially relating to traders only because uh, there are very few professionals uh, in the field of chartered accountants who are specialist in in taxation matters relating to stock market traders so don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll be coming more with up our videos and the next video will be on what are the things you require for e filing or income tax compliances for a stock market trader that would be so in the next video we'll be coming up with income tax compliances for stock market trader so stay tuned and take care bye bye